Afternoon everyone. Oh, during a couple of robins, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, I thought I'd get out since it's a lovely sunny afternoon uh, and visit my, my favourite local ford. And I have just cycled through it and I've got a wet foot to, to prove it, but all good. So, where are we? So you can see on the map where we are. Tamarilla, can we zoom out? Where I've just headed out of Kent's Bay. I don't know how to use this. Uh, it's not going to pick it up at all. Never mind. Uh, Kent's Bay is over there. And just come along this bit here. And I'm going to head all the way up. It's rather deceptive. Big steep hill winds its way. But as you can see, it's really windy. Uh, so that's going to really hamper those times today. It's one of those ones where you're just going to go out and enjoy it. Normally got my eldest with me. She's, it's a Friday, so she's still at school. But uh, I thought I'd stop and do a quick run through, now I've finished waffling, of my Outkit Stingray bag. These are made to measure bags, back or bike packing bags from Outkit. It's really well made. Um, and it's one of those completely uh, adjustable orders so you can personalize it you can change the color of the stitching um, this has got the reflective piping which charges you a little bit extra you can have a little hole put there for your electrics and bits so I'll stop for a minute let a lady and her dog go past a little bit strange just chatting away to myself so yes I was saying that it's completely uh, able to personalize it things I really like are the really tough waterproof construction this one has got the two pockets and there's i don't know if you can see in there there's a velcro strap so you can have uh essentially two pockets so separate the two the lower one and upper one there is i believe the option to have like a document one on the other side if you look at this side apart from the outkit branding there's nothing it would as an improvement it would be nice to have a bit of reflective detailing on both sides, I think. If you've got an attractive, colourful side on this side, then rather dull. Um, nice, big, gloveable zips and waterproof zips to boot. Um, I'd say these are made to measure, so you'd normally kind of draw a template of the size you want uh, and send it off to them. Lots of instructions on their website of what you need to do uh, to get the perfect fit. Uh, this you know kind of fits most of my bikes uh, which is quite fortunate um, and I do a view from the top even when it's packed I've just had to take my uh, gilet out because although it's really cold in the wind um, is this car gonna come I'll let this car move out of the way Ugh. down um, where was I um, ooh, yes looking at it even when it's packed with my gilet um, it doesn't bulk out that much so it doesn't get in the way of your pedaling stroke at all so improvements I've said one about the reflective detail on the other side would be nice um, these straps here the kind of velcro that just kind of sticks to itself this kind of male and female alternating sizes um they're not so bad these trousers but i've got a pair of old ron hills that i like to wear and it just catches catches on the uh, the material so you just kind of it's more of an annoyance and a noise rather than anything else but what i might do because each one of this this webbing ladder uh, you can stick as many of these or as few of these as you like to secure it um you could just um, do some paracord or something, um, which will work, hold it nice and tight as well. I guess with it being on the the uh, what's it going to be the female side of the Velcro, uh, it's it's not going to tarnish the paint too much. Although this is getting the odd battle scar. Um, 
but yeah, overall I'm very pleased and it's a really good fit. Um, this is a large frame. Um, yeah, I guess I'm thinking you get the base model and then you add all the extra bits, so five pound here, five pound there. I think this would be equivalent to about 120 new, which is a sizable investment, but oh, well, lots of your branded bikepacking bags are quite expensive. But I expect to have it till it will last a good few years. Any questions or comments, you know, stick them below and I'll see if I can answer them. Otherwise, enjoy the sunshine. I'm going to head out this way and then head part way between Hemiok and Coomstock, a place called Tedborough, and then head back to Offcombe and then back to Clumpton. It's gorgeous, but icy. I see in parts. It's other stream up this way. You know, this water's quite cold as my toes will testify. Okay. So enjoy and happy cycling.